Coming up is a follow-up to my previous video about which ASO tool has the most accurate data for Google Play. Spoiler alert, I may go back on my previous findings. Stay tuned. What is up App Nation? It is Steve P. Young back and better than ever. And in this video, I wanna sort of highlight some of our findings when we're optimizing for Google Play. So full, transpar full transparency, I feel a lot more comfortable for ASO when I'm doing on iOS, on Apple, on iOS. And it's just more enjoyable. There's a lot more tricks and hacks that I can use on iOS than I can on Google Play. But in an effort to get really, 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 really good on Google Play, I've been doing a lot more optimizations on Google Play, and I wanna share some of the findings that I've been able to see from my previous clients with you. So for this video, it's sort of like a follow-up on my previous video, and I'm gonna link that into the show notes, but to highlight some of the things that you should be looking out for when you're optimizing on Google Play. And we've actually seen some really good results in terms of rankings for a client, but we didn't see any real increase in downloads. So I'm gonna tell you why I think that happened. So let's go into the data. All right, so here is a client of ours that we were able to optimize for Google Play. And here's what I wanna highlight for you. So this is, I hit all the keywords and everything else so you don't know what the keywords are or what the app is. But essentially, the summary is we optimized the app. We saw a pretty good increase in ranking. So this is July 13th of this year, 2017. You see, he wasn't ranking for a lot of these keywords that were optimized for. And then we got him to rank in the top five, really, for one, two, three, four, five, six keywords, six different keywords. Now, in my previous video, I said, Mobile action from what we can gather has the most accurate data because on Sensor Tower, when it comes to Google Play, every single stinking keyword is difficult, has a really high difficulty score, as you can see right here. So I said, hey, based off of my data, because other our two previous clients were able to rank really high for these keywords, mobile action has the most accurate data. Now that's true, right? As you can see, this is true. My findings from my previous previous video is true because when there is, when mobile action saying this is a, a low difficulty, you know, a chance score, the higher the chance, the higher you're gonna, your chance, pun intended, of being in the top rankings. This is true. As you can see, we're in the pretty high rankings for these keywords. The unfortunate side is there's something happening that I don't know exactly what's happening, but I wanted to do this video to share with you what's happening. So what I can see is, look, this is good traffic scores. So anytime I'm able to see these traffic scores on iOS and these difficulties, and I'm getting an increase in ranks, I usually see an increase in downloads. And that's why we've been able to consistently increase downloads for our clients on, especially on iOS, anywhere from 50 to 400%. But unfortunately for this client, on Google Play, we didn't see any bump in downloads. And so I'm shocked. And the only hypothesis I can come up with is these keywords that I'm optimizing for just do not have any search volume whatsoever. So when I said mobile action has really accurate data, it's true. The difficulty scores are really accurate, but I think what's happening is the search scores are not as accurate. Right, because Sensor Tower is saying, hey, these are really low traffic keywords. So 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. These are really low traffic keywords. They can't go any lower than this. I haven't seen anything lower than 0 0.5, right? And unfortunately, these scores on Cent or Mobile Action, they're pretty high. So for example, this keyword, we're 100%. This is, I would say they're both pretty similar in terms of traffic score. But I would say like this, for, for example, this keyword, Mobile action is saying 23 search score, which is, you know, it's, it's not like a huge, but it's not, it's decent. And difficulty wise is pretty difficult, but we're number one for this particular keyword. But Sensor Tower says it's 0 0.5. And what I can then say is Sensor Tower is probably right. So what I did do, because I was so shocked by the results, I was like, man, like, 
I did the the next optimization for this client, and I was like, "Look, we're we're ranking for all these keywords now. This is so cool." And he's like, "Yeah, but we don't see any bump in downloads." So I was shocked to hear that from my client. So what I did was I went to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner tool, and I put a bunch of these keywords into the tool, and it did say what Sensor Tower is saying is this is a little low traffic volume for these keywords. And so when you're doing optimization, you know, one of my tricks has always been my advanced ASO tips is use two ASO tools. And uh, you know, like Center Tower Mobile Action. I did another case study, and I'll try to link that into the video too, but where I compare three different tools, Center Tower Mobile Action and AppTweak to see like which one has the most accurate data in terms of difficulty and search volume. But this is why it's so important to use these two different tools because one, mobile action, what I'm seeing is they're pretty accurate in terms of their difficulty score. And, but on the flip side, their search volume scores are really inaccurate because as you can see, we were able to bump this keyword, this app from not ranking at all for these particular keywords to ranking in the top five, but still no bump in downloads. And the only other things so I'm still going to investigate, but the only thing that could be happening here too, and I'd love to hear from you guys if you see anything different, is nobody searches on Google Play, right? <laughs> Nobody's searching and downloading apps on Google Play. So that could be what's happening. But I think in all likelihood, the, the more likely thing that's happening here is that the keywords that I'm ranking well for it really do not have the volume to for it for this app to get an increase in downloads. I, I need to focus more on these 3.4 and 32 keywords instead of focusing on the 0 0.6, 0 0.5 keywords. So that's what we're doing right now. We're running a couple more tests. This is one of my favorite clients because he's giving me free reign to just do whatever with his app. And so I'm gonna try out a bunch of other things and I'll share this, I'll report back to everybody about what's happening. But essentially this is what's happening. So I think be careful, definitely use two tools because if you just use Center Tower, like I said before, Center Tower is gonna say that all these keywords are difficult. So I have no idea which keywords to target. Whereas Mobile Actions then telling me, okay, these keywords I can target because they have low difficulty, but their search scores are really off. Because as you can see, I'm able to rank really high for these keywords but still not get any type of downloads increase. So hope that was helpful for you. If you guys have seen anything on Google Play, look, it's something that I'm really passionate about. I wanna get really good. I feel like I'm like an A plus on iOS, but on Google Play, I'm probably about a B because I could probably get better than now. As you can see, like my results are good, right? Like I can get the re keyword rankings to increase, but I don't know why the downloads haven't increased. So I'm gonna do a little bit more case studies on this and tweak this app a little bit more as well. Hope you enjoy this. If you have been enjoying my videos, please subscribe. I don't know exactly what the subscriber count is, but it's darn close to a thousand. That feels really good. I think my wife's gonna reward me soon because once I hit the thousand, I'll let you guys know what happens then. And last thing is, if you wanna join us for a phenomenal event for the app entrepreneurs out there, go check out App Masters Connect dot com at mastersconnect.com we're limiting to just 30 phenomenal app entrepreneurs it's going to be the event that helps you connect and make lasting connections that last forever see these words that i keep repeating last lasting and connections it's an awesome event i can't wait to do it again we did one in vegas we're doing it in santa cruz which is just a little bit south of the Bay Area. So you can fly into San Francisco if you're coming in from out of state, but it's flying to San Francisco and just drive your way to Santa Cruz. Hope to see you there. It is at mastersconnect.com happening in just a few weeks now, six weeks from now, I think, five or six weeks from now. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.